Hello all, we're back to Master Warrior now with our little uh, empire here as Epsilon. We're playing on a medium sized uh, galaxy, but uh, it probably has a lot of systems by the look of it. I mean, it doesn't seem medium to me, it's more like kind of large. And we have only managed to get five uh, planets, colonies, in this uh, five different systems. Uh, in the meantime, we've seen the uh, Clackons. They have eight uh, colonies, apparently. And they obviously have at least eight systems that we know of. We see, actually, we've seen we have seven. And yeah, we have, we observe here that they have apparently two bases in one of the systems. Uh, here we don't have any knowledge of that and yeah speaking a bit about the master warrior so we started the game here on mentor prime we secured our border here building a military outpost this, the idea with the military outpost is to prevent enemy forces i mean whoever is not an ally from moving throughout our own area our own empire and whoever wants to pass through is actually gonna have to charge that and declare war to your empire Even this is a good me. thing uh, okay, research. Research is, uh, you can access it from here, this bar here, research. Controller. And with the view technology tree, which is the way I prefer to do the research, you can go here, I mean, from research, sorry, Controller. you can press view technology tree. Otherwise, you can just pick from whatever is available here. The idea is, if you use the, the view technology tree, you can uh, see where you're going with your uh, current research. So, I was thinking about going with this chemistry tree because it increases uh, Merculite missiles and Titanium armor. Since we are Epsilon, we don't have to choose between Merculite missiles and uh, titanium, uh, titanium armor. Then, Filter is also useful because it has the shield, so I'm gonna actually go with this chemistry tree. And you can also see Good how long it will take. Time. Here it says 10 turns and also here now that we selected you can see it's gonna take 10 turns to finish And we have currently a plus 19.8 research per turn Now in terms of fleet actually I was starting to create here a command post On top of this uh, military outpost I want to bring more ships here in order to secure my border with the placons Because previously I had built here an expansion point where I could see I built there a space space of surveillance system I tried to build one and the Clackens attacked it and destroyed it so they're pretty aggressive actually and I want to get the fleet built up right now we have apparently nine, okay Clacken have 13 planets actually 13 wow that's that's a huge amount compared to us because we only have five and right now I started building a few extra ships here. Destroyer, Ironclad, Cruiser, Gunship. And then I'm gonna go back to building a uh, colony ship. Because I wanted to get a bit of a fleet built. Just in case enemy gets any crazy ideas about, about fighting me. So... We built here our space factory. We can actually build uh, also here something on the asteroid belt here. This is gonna give us extra credits per turn. Right now we have a total of plus 17 per turn. Uh, so credits balance, you can observe it here in case uh, you wanna see how we're doing. So we have a total, subtotal colonies, we have 30.2. And from uh, leaders, we have minus 23. From structure upkeep, we have minus 41. From taxes, we get 54. Okay, we have a destroyer. We're gonna build, bring it here. So we're using, uh, if you wanna see how you're doing with the fleets, you can observe here. So we have uh, base command points. This is useful for uh, sort of telling you how much uh, command points worth of ships you are capable of building without uh, having you to pay extra for any ships. So right now we have uh, four command points remaining worth of ships. So we have two destroyers costing us minus four uh, 
a 1 space factory minus 1, 1 frag frigate minus 1, and 5 military outposts minus 5. Uh, one of the things we can actually destroy is we can re get rid of is this military outpost is actually not uh, useful in any way because it's not blocking access to any of the uh, systems. Uh, other than this, yeah, I mean, so we have 10 points here available now. GNN Galactic News Mechlar and Sakura, okay. And here, let's see what we can build. So we can build an asteroid mine, which is gonna give us extra credits, or an asteroid laboratory. I'm gonna go with credits right now, actually. Since it's a plus 8 and we only have a 17 plus. Wanna increase the, uh, the amount of credits we gain. Colonial service completed. This is gonna give extra credits, so we have plus 21 per turn. And two turns is this is gonna build an ironclad as well. Okay, we can hire a new guy. All in. Uh, we're gonna assign it to either one of the colonies, maybe to this one because I saw it also has pollution. So you can see the planets, but once you choose them, you can also select them here on the map or directly here in this left side. So I'm gonna assign it to this one because it's actually a very large planet. It can get up to 24 population. And I saw this guy also has a plus 10 or something on pollution as well. So it's gonna be useful. Yeah, so plus 10 and uh, on food and uh, plus 10% on food and also plus 10 on pollution cleanup. Uh, okay, our ironclad, I'm gonna bring it here. So we're building a fleet. Atmospheric Renewer, build a Mansell too, okay. Research laboratory completed, okay. Me, okay, we finished Merculite Missiles and Tritanium Armor. This can be useful actually for uh, uh, upgrading the ships. And this one you can see is actually a very useful thing. So base space is actually minus 10% for all of the uh, ships and base cost has been reduced by 10%. So all of these things are very useful for all the ships. So once you upgrade this one, it's basically gonna upgrade probably nuclear missiles and titanium armor with the latest stuff here. So we have tritanium armor and Miraculite missiles. So frigate is already pretty tough right now. It's actually 1425. Bomb sketch 8 slash 419. This one gonna get upgraded to 10 slash 47. Ironclad 7. Okay. And cruiser, which is using the missiles, is gonna get upgraded to 78 slash 82. Controller. Okay. Can go for fields just to add the shields as well. Okay, it's gonna cost us 85 to upgrade these guys. Oh, what? Okay, upgraded. Uh, destroyer brought here guard. So we have a force here of 2472. Pretty okay. Okay, let's see what else is out there. So we're building the cruiser now. Actually, the idea is the cruiser is probably costing, uh, I think, four command points. Okay, so I'm probably not gonna be building also the uh, gunship because I don't have sufficient space for that. So I'm gonna go with uh, more colony ships now. So, four colony ships after this cruiser. So, we have right now 23 total upkeep. I'm gonna go here and build. Oh! Anomaly. Wanna explore that. But this free has grown as well. Okay. It's a uh, two population now. 
So, Ironclad is also here. I can upgrade it. Guard. So, we have 31, 124 defensive points. The anomaly turns out to colony be a ship. ship. Nice. So, I have an extra colony ship now. I can make use of. Actually, I needed the colony ship. This is GNN. State Galactic of the Galaxy. News okay, let's Network. see how we are. So and this GNN program is actually Galaxy, Galaxy ne Network News. News Network. Yeah, we're not in the top here. Okay, the space factor is gonna go here and a colony ship. 15 population. What about here? 10, 9, Okay, I think I'm gonna send it here. 25 turns, I think it said. Maybe it needs an upgrade. Even without me, okay, we can upgrade the shields on all. So, what about upgrading here? I think we should be... Upgrading if we upgrade these guys. Huh. Not gonna upgrade here because it's gonna reduce maybe only for the cruiser. Because it already had some uh, huge attack. And okay, frigate. Yeah, this one is already pretty poor. I don't know if to upgrade yet. Controller. Maybe not. Uh, fusion bomb, proton torpedoes, cruiser and gunship, missile base. Merclide missile modifications. Deep sea. Okay. Maybe this one would be useful. Our empire has a deficit. What? From where? Structure upkeep. Oh, that's because I finished the uh, cruiser. I'm gonna get it built there. But it's super large with uh, deficit right now. So I'm gonna have to build Colonial. This is gonna add extra credits. So I wanted to upgrade actually this colony ship just to get it faster across the galaxy. So it's gonna be 15 turns instead of 24. That I saw originally. Okay, let's build. Compatible. Okay. So. I cannot do much. Okay, so I cannot do anything here actually. Okay. In this case, it means I have to maybe try to get there. So economy right now is minus eight, still on negative. So it's finally on positive, 34 positive. I don't know what happened, but Oh, we finished the uh, command points. Okay, so that was costing a lot. And also here we finished uh, Empire. That building. Okay. Let's see, so we finished... Colonial Revenue Service. Okay, so we're back on positive with economy. 
And we have extra command points now that we can uh, use. So we have two more colony ships here, three. So let's check one, two, three. I think we don't need four. So this is one, two, three, four. And yeah, I think the last one we can skip. We can probably build this. Uh, Maureen. I don't know, we're gonna see. Maybe we're gonna build the uh, gunship four. see research lab okay 29 so we have 29 39 research capability right now uh, uh, once we finish this research I think I'm gonna go for giant good gas compression time. good sign I don't know okay giant can we look here giant gas no, 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 no. Good science takes time. Technology. Yes. Ah, yes, Jen. Compression. Yeah, I switched up because I want to go for that next. So, cruiser is in position. So, this is actually pretty solidified position let's call it right now i don't know if we are obviously visible somewhere where is the army now no we're at, okay we're at 40k and we're at 117k okay we're pretty strong anomaly detected in the baron here. Huh. Maybe we should check it out. So let's check this anomaly. So we have 41.79 research per turn now. And we have an extra colony ship. Let's go for this. Or this. Normal gravity. Okay. So population here at Tali 2 is almost bigger than Mentor Prime now. You come across the broken Global remains DNA of an card. unbelievable. Okay. Careful analysis of data. And okay. It's pretty cool. So another research lab completed. So we have forty-four point seventy-nine now. Okay. So right now we have 21. Okay, this one can be on guard here. 25 max points, command points right now. Another spy here. Okay, research boost. Plus 50%. So we can colonize a new base here. Oceanic. Ocean here. Poor minerals. Okay. Okay, we're gonna build a hydrophonic farm here. Buy it and then go with auto build. So plus five per turn is good. Uh, we cannot build anything yet here. We need a colony ship. Can you like guard? Research is 39.20 now. We're gonna finish construction free soon.
Okay, another colony ship we can get this base, 12 turns. And the last of the colony ships we are built right now. Missile attack, weapons max damage. What? Salary is 28. Wow. We don't have that much money. He's a very good commander, but we don't have the money to pay him. Colony ship at the Baron Prime arrived. So we can probably build there. Okay, this guy is gonna cost more. So these commanders also increase the cost. Okay, we can colonize this one. I'm gonna skip extra housing. Hydrophonic farm. I'm gonna go with that first and go with auto build. You can also build here the support scalar gas harvester, which will increase credits. More ring barracks, uh, that's not really useful. Yeah, we should find. Oh, here! We can expand there as well, so we need an extra colony ship actually. After all of this, yeah. Uh, we're gonna build this because we have that booster research that commander and we have artifacts here so Dali 2 is at 7 oh it's already ahead of Mentor Prime So, right now we have uh, how many planets? New colony ship. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this. So we have two here, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine are underway now. Our research now at the 41.60. State of the galaxy, okay? And now, the state of the galaxy. Current ranking of space fleet strength. Inventory power, so we're not anywhere near that. But we have a maximum 25 we can get. So we have finished that artifacts thing. So we have 44.6. 60 and yeah we can colonize a new base here as well gonna go with hydrophonic farm again bite auto build so we barely have any funds left but we have 61 per turn income which is nice Oh, we cannot explore that yet. So our only way out of the galaxy is through this part. So we need to kill this guy. Who has uh, 995 attack damage and defense 593. So we obviously need a huge fleet to do that. Colonial service. So our credits right now it's at 63. Uh, what about leaders? I don't no longer have that guy around. Could have been useful. All the brown prime has grown. Okay. Oh, this one is at uh, two. So the last of the colony ships is being built now. Probably we're gonna take this one. Manzel Prime. 
And after that, I'm gonna rebalance Mentor Prime. Why is it at 5? It has lost some uh, food. Weird. It's been building colony ships for a while, but I don't know what happened. So right now it's at... Uh, it's gonna go back to 6 soon. So if I wanna check my... Okay, we have an extra fleet here colonizing. Let's go to Hydrophony Farm. I'm not sure if we have the money. Oh, we have. Cool, we can buy it. So we already have nine planets or more now. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna get ten. Uh, okay, so I wanted to check one thing for the planets here. Yeah, I wanted to check something. Oh, no, the Empire, actually. I wanted to check which is the toughest for research. So it's still Mentari Prime, even though it's focused on production. So it's gonna build another colony ship now. Oh, so whenever it builds a colony ship, it's gonna lose some uh, population. So it says colony ship enables settlement, doesn't say it loses one. Anyway, so I'm gonna balance it right now. It's gonna give 20 research. Biosphere is useful. And uh, can also build orbital shipyards. Global DNA scanner security plus 15%. Okay. 18 turns for this. So we have a colony ship free. We can take this Manzil Prime as well. Okay, so we're preparing to close up here right now. We're gonna get a 10th planet. We're kind of playing SimCity right now. Trying to grow our planets. At the same time, uh, getting things built up. Tali 2 here, hopefully it's gonna come back from uh, behind and get ahead of uh, Mentar Prime because it also has already a population of 8 now it's probably not as rich as uh, the other one minerals is uh, free and our biome is free here uh, minerals is 4, biome is 4 probably size this is GNN 4, Rapsbeek, Long Clacon and Alkari okay Okay, we detected that fleet. And what is here? Nothing. Uh, I would actually, I was thinking about bringing this here. Just to get the yes, outpost maybe upgraded later on. Oh, what is happening? I didn't even notice, but these guys are here on my neck. So I'm gonna save now. Hopefully we're not getting into a war with them. Because we're probably stronger than my whole amount of ships. So we have 10 planets, but we're not as strong as uh, they are. And we're only doing economy now, trying to catch up with them. Hmm. Anyway, so uh, we're gonna close up right here. We propose a merger. An aggression, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take it. I don't have a choice because otherwise 
you will crush me. So, non-aggression. I'm happy we're having an aggression with them. So, 49 current empire on income. Population growth. Okay. Shield restoration, ship repair per turn. Okay, we can hire this guy. I'm not gonna sign him now. Just gonna keep him for uh, bigger ships. So we have a colony ship at Manzil Prime. Okay, let's uh, take this base. Even if it's a small one, I'm gonna take it still. Hydrophonic farm. Build. Auto build. So we have finally reached the 10 planet mark now. We have one here, two here, four, six, eight, nine, ten. And we have a total of uh, seven systems. Now, in the near future, I'm hoping to finish construction five and then turn all of these gas giants into planets. And we have one here, one here, one here, one here, four, and here an asteroid belt. So that's five planets extra that we can take. And, oh, six with this one. Okay, so it's a pretty big deal to get them. And also command points, we're doing very well with that. I don't know why Mentari Prime keeps losing population so Tali is about to build uh, finish orbital batteries this is GNN Galactic of the News galaxy. Network and now the state of the galaxy current number of colonies so we have 23 now and these guys have we only have 10 yeah, this is what it means to play on impossible difficulty so we can possibly get six more which will mean 16 and then we'll still be behind them so we need to kill this uh, space monster but we need fleet for that so it's kind of a circle here so production here it's at 10 uh, orbital batteries uh, it's pretty good in a way to have some defense For the plants, fretting flat detected. Yeah, it's been detected for a while there. So our research now is at 56.4. Okay, Tali 2 is not doing anything, he's doing trade goods. What? Oh, it finished everything. So that means it can go to war right now. I mean, I can go with uh, bomb catch. Maybe build another space factory to have two. Frigate destroyer ironclad. Yeah, I want to get them uh, to do some things here to grow our fleet up to the max of 30 research lab increase so we have 59 technology now research per turn and near prime has grown Buddhist has grown Frederick fleet okay all right so we're very close to the uh, So getting ready to build uh, artificial planet and gas giant, advanced space factory, and also robo miners. And we're gonna get also a bomb catch there. Yeah, capture. So how are we are doing in terms of? Uh, espionage could train an agent here and assign him to defensive 
because they're probably trying to steal our tech. So we build a bit a bomb catch. Gonna send it there. Next up is gonna be after the ironclad five is gonna be cruiser five three. So he's gonna be guarding here in case it gets upgraded. He's gonna be building the advanced uh, or military outpost, but it's probably gonna be later on somewhere. Okay, so we're gonna stop now. So we uh, we're at 72.59 research capability now. We're doing sort of okay. We're at the last among everyone here, unfortunately. Army. Worth 55,000. Plagons are uh, okay, seven times bigger right now. We haven't met other races, so score. Uh, they are above us. Army, population, colonies. We have 10, and they have 25. GDP now. Okay, so we have 1083. 1083. No, 1215 GDP. And they have 10,001. Okay. So, we are doing a lot better. Okay, so uh, this is gonna be the end of part 2 right now. And we're gonna stop here with 7 systems, 10 bases. We have a plan to finish construction 5 and take 6 more bases after that. And we're gonna continue to grow. Hopefully we're gonna build the fleet that we need as well. And build that space monster and then start expanding towards that area. Other than this, uh, we probably need to prepare ourselves to fight the Clackons, maybe. They're pretty strong right now, so it's gonna be difficult to beat them. But we're gonna try. And uh, we need stronger ships for that, and we need to increase our researches and everything. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more about this, the continuation of this uh, uh, video and also more videos like this from Master of Orion, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.